This film is really just based on a gimmick. Ass mouth, and he wants to make a ass mouth centipede and connect people, basically, ATM, ATM, ass mouth, ass mouth. What's up everybody, back today to talk about The Human Centipede, part two, full sequence, written and directed once again by Tom Six. I guess he's gonna do three of these things. It's like his Star Wars, I guess, or something like that. Whatever, so let's get into the second film. The first thing I wanted to say about the first film though, before we get any farther is, I didn't mention, it's kind of like a comedy. They are kind of like dark comedies. The first film, and especially this film. This film has this real surreal feel to it almost. It feels like the first film took place in the real world, and almost like this film takes place not in the real world. When you get it, you might get that feeling. Because you know, the first one's in color, this one's in complete black and white, and the character of Martin, played by Lawrence Harvey, is so strange. He's kind of funny, I, as disgusting as he is, I found him kind of funny. I kept reminding me of kind of one of the minions from Despicable Me. He's a sicko. He gets a lot of work done with a tire iron. It kind of reminded me of a movie called Angst that I also reviewed. Tom Six is out there doing something with these films. I don't think they're fully appreciated because they get such low ratings on IMDb and stuff. Uh, I definitely think this is worth more than three out of 10 uh, as it gets rated on IMDb. It, because it is kind of funny and it's, if you can take the grossness, if you can make it all the way through all the sick shit, which I really didn't mind too much. Like I said, I was kind of like a little bit cringing, you know, but I've seen a lot of crap, so it really didn't bug me. Of course, I think it's gross, yes. Um, you know, especially when it got to the baby part, but it's not enough to turn me off. I know what they're going for. They're going for the sensationalism, just like I said in the first film. It's a gimmick. And this film actually pays complete fan service to the first movie. So if you like the first movie, this is the thing for you. You gotta watch the second film because they just hype everything up, you know? But the, at the same time, they add this nice contrast between Dr. Heiter and, you know, our new main character, Martin, who's this abused troll of a man, basically. And it's funny at some parts. You gotta admit the part where the punk rock skinhead guy comes down to yell at him, and then the mom's like, kill us both, or whatever, and hilarious. I mean, I thought that was hilarious. That skinhead guy was such a fucking dick, you know? So I wasn't really not liking too much of this film, to tell you the truth. I mean, yes, you can get grossed out by it. Yes, you can be annoyed that the main character doesn't talk. It's shot in black and white. It's extreme. There's really nothing to the story. But like I said, it's all fan service to the first film. I mean, he's a fan of the film himself. That's what motivates him to do the full sequence. And, you know, he's not a doctor, so he has this barbaric method of using duct tape and pliers and all this crap. Whereas in the first film, you know, Dr. Heiter was a well-educated man who was just a sicko. This guy's the abused version of him. I don't know. I kind of like that. I just appreciated it. I don't know how else to put it. I'd sound like a sicko, but I do watch a lot of horror movies and I think I just kind of appreciate it because it is a lot better than some of the shit that comes out in horror movies. Definitely. It's extreme. Yes. And it's also extreme just to be extreme, which you could kind of blame it for that, but I don't really blame it for that because you know, that's what you came to watch when you watched the Human Centipede Part 2. And they at least based it on an interesting character. I found the character kind of interesting, as creepy as he is. But there is a couple bad things. You know, like I said, mostly just if you can't make it because it's too gross, you know, it's going to turn a lot of people off. And it is pretty gross in some scenes. Not that bad compared to the first movie, I didn't think. Uh, of course, you know, it does involve some baby stuff. So that's like crossing the line for a lot of people. But the way they do it is kind of slapsticky. And, uh, you know, cops. I'm like... I know it's kind of like a surreal setup. He lives in his own mind, so it's kind of just like what he sees and everything as his character, but you know, God, the cops, they didn't realize all these people were missing from the same parking lot. And he did have a good job for stalking people, I guess. Well, whatever, like I said, the Human Centipede 2, I liked it a lot better than I thought I would. The more I think about it, I'm like, ah, oh, it is a nice little companion to the first movie. I'm not gonna give it as high a score as the first film, because the first one I gave a 3.5, because it is an original idea, the first one. Even though it's disgusting, it's an original gimmick. This is like playing off the gimmick, and like I said, it is complete fan service. But I still give it a 3 out of 5, because I was entertained. I didn't really want to turn it off. I was cringing a little bit and going, God, they went there, they went there. But it's not that much worse than the first film, you know, the tire iron. He was getting some work done with that tire iron, and I kind of liked that. That was funny. So yeah, that's my review of The Human Centipede 2. I kind of want to see the third one more than I ever thought I would now, because Martin's gonna be in that one too, at least the actor is. I don't know if he's gonna be playing himself, and I think Dr. Hyder, from the photos I've seen, is playing someone in there too, so I'm excited to see the third film. So tell me what you thought for you guys that made it through the Human Centipede Part 2. Yeah, check out Angst. That's another one. This kind of reminded me of Angst, like a low-budget version of Angst. And I'll see you soon with a review of Human Centipede Part 3. It'll probably be a little while, though, because it hasn't been released yet. And I'll see you soon. Bye.